this tutorial for you. It's a really, really classic look. It's the classic sort of dark, smoky eyes with the nude lips. And I've done a lot of really intense highlighting, kind of going with that strobing theme. This is really sort of amping up the, um, the highlight and I don't know, I just, I'm loving this. I haven't done a look like this in so long with the really dark eyes and the nude lips, but I feel like this is just such a go-to classic look. Anyhow, I wanted to also use this new palette that I got. I think it's called Cool Neutral Palette, and it contains 15 full-size MAC eyeshadows, and they're all in the cool family. And I am just a huge fan of cool-toned neutrals because I feel like there's so many palettes that have been released by all different brands, and they're all usually kind of in the warmer tone, especially when it comes to neutrals, they're very, very warm tone. For some skin tones, it just suits better to use cool tones. Like I, my skin is really fair. So I personally feel like this just suits me better. Um, so I'm absolutely loving this palette. I'm really impressed with it so far. I'm loving this look. I just, I don't know. I hope you guys love it too. So let's get started here. Anyhow, so let's get started with the foundation. So I'm actually using a foundation that I've been really enjoying from the drugstore. This is the Manhattan, Manhattan Endless Perfection Makeup. This is light porcelain and soft ivory. I'm just going to blend that all over my face. All right, so I'm just blending that. I'm going to use the Kiko Cosmetics Radiant Touch Creamy Highlighter Stick. This is in the shade 101, and it's kind of like a less expensive version of like the Copacabana and stuff like that from NARS. They're very similar in my opinion. Apply that onto the tops of my cheekbones and then just kind of blend it in with that sponge. Because I want a really sort of glowing highlight cheek look. Also on the top of my Cupid's bow like that. So I'm first gonna go in with this color right here and it's called Cozy Gray, it's a matte. And I'm just going to start buffing that kind of into the crease area just to start getting a little bit of definition and this is gonna help to blend out the darker colors that I'm gonna work with. Next, I'm going in with this color right here from the palette and it's called Brun. So I'm gonna pick that up on a MAC 217 brush because it's a little bit more precise and I'm just going to work that into the deeper crease area. Kind of where I've got the gray, but now I'm gonna work in with that darker color. And this is really just to intensify the crease, obviously. And once you have a little bit of color on, I'm gonna go back in with the blending brush from before and just kind of blend it out. Next, I'm going in with this color right here, and this is called Black Tide. This does have fallout, so you just, instead of sweeping it back and forth and kind of making all those glitter particles drop, you just want to press it. I just realized I totally forgot I did a step here that I didn't do here. Whoopsie daisies. I used the color tattoo, one of the Maybelline color tattoos in a, as a base, and that made this color stick a lot better, and I totally forgot to do that on this side. I will make it work. I'm leaving a little space bare because I'm gonna be adding a different color there. In the crease, just gonna go back in and blend that a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with this color, and this is called Deception. It's going to take a slightly smaller pencil brush and then just apply that on the very inner sort of quarter of the eye and blend it with the black tide. And the very inner corner, I'm going to use this one right here, and this is called French clay, put it right on that tear duct area, just as a little bit of a highlight. To blend out underneath the brow, I'm going to use this one right here, and it's called Pick Me Up. And I'm just going to use that to kind of blend out underneath the eyebrow area. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this one. This one is called Sweet Allure, and this one has a little bit of a satin finish, and just put that onto the highest point, like just underneath my brow there, so that you have a little bit of a reflective shimmer, but it's not like super, super frosty. Uh, to do some cleanup underneath the eye, I'm going to use a concealer. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me right now. Uh, I'm just gonna apply that. I'm going to use that sponge again and just blend it out.
And to set the concealer, I'm going to use this color in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette so that it doesn't move around. So now that the under eye area is all cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and do the makeup on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna go back in with that brown shade from the palette that I used before and just place a little bit of this on the lower lash line. Blend it with that highlight that I applied on the lower. Also just to deepen it, take a little bit of the black tide and just kind of work that on the very outer corner of the lower lash line so you can kind of connect it with the top area. I'm going to take uh, this eyeliner pen. This is by BH Cosmetics. This is the Party Girl Pencil in Chase. And this is actually a brown because I feel like if I just add black now, it's just gonna be a little bit too dark. So I'm going to add that onto the tight line and the waterline area. I'm going to do a winged liner here and it's quite a dramatic winged liner and for that I'm using the Inglot cream eyeliner or gel liner. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. <laughs> okay, why did I say it like that? Mascara. Anyhow, I'm just going to apply that on the top and on the bottom lashes. I'm going to add some lashes at the very end, but in the meanwhile, I'm going to go and do my eyebrows off camera. So I do actually have a couple tutorials on how to do eyebrows. So if you want to go see that, go and check it out. I'm going to use one of my favorite products by MAC. This is the Lightscapade Mineralized Skin Finish. And I am just going to add that on top of the highlight that I already did with the Kiko. And for blush, I'm going to use the Max Factor, I think they're called Bouncy Blush or Cushion Blush or something like that. Um, and this is in Seductive Pink because they also have a little bit of that sheen without it looking super shimmery. It's more just like a sort of a satiny finish. And I'm just going to add that as a blush, a Kabuki brush and just blend it. So for the lips, I wanna go super nude. I mean, if you wanna go sort of like a pinky nude or peachy nude or something, that's totally up to you. But I personally like that look when it's just really nude lips. Um, so I'm first gonna use a lip liner and I'm using this one by Essence 11 in the Nude. All right, I'm just gonna fill my lips in also with that color. And then I'm gonna go over that with MAC Myth Lipstick. And lastly, I'm just going to add some fun lashes. These are kind of flared out at the end a little bit. So I'm just going to place those. I just want to give those a moment to dry. You know, I think I'm just going to add a touch of gloss to this because I think this will look really cool with a little bit of lip gloss. I'm just using a clear one. I am absolutely loving this. Oh my gosh, I need to do this smoky eye look more. I need to wear this out more. But I think it just looks so nice. I don't know, it just is such a classic look and I think it goes for so many occasions. If you like this video, make sure to go and give it a thumbs up and leave your comments. I absolutely love reading them. You can also subscribe to my channel right now on the top. Click on that red subscribe button. And I'm also going to link two videos here on the side that you can go check out if you want to see more. I've been really active lately on Snapchat. That's kind of been my, my weapon of choice. And I've been using that a lot. My username on there is Julia underscore graph. That's a really cool place to find me. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And and I will see you guys very soon. Bye everyone.